the Sia Kalsu was teacher here. We are a weekly episode and this time I'm going to analyze something that you get confused about. I understand. Yeah, we get confused about. No need. And uh, I wanted just to put in order, to clarify a little. I will bring you back uh, to the episode with uh, Blacksmith, uh, this fantastic uh, extreme vocalist. Because uh, if you look uh, at the, all the mm -hmm. episodes, uh, you will see at a certain moment that I ask him something that is not so evident, uh, and I ask him as if it is evident uh, to use those muscles, uh, meaning the muscles, uh, the exhaled muscles, uh, that we have between the ribs, uh, we have two layers of those. Uh, the external, the most external, are those uh, to inhale uh, and they open the rib cages, rib cage. And the other two that we have uh, in two layers, uh, the one coming to the sternum uh, and the second being more lateral and going to, to the back, uh, they are used to exhale. The exhaled muscles uh, act uh, as a uh, uh, how can I define that? Explosive accelerative muscles. So t for us uh, to start moving them uh, and to start finding them, uh, we are not getting to, how can I say, directly very often uh, think about uh, bringing out the air. And why that? Because if you sing, if you yet sing or you are a singer or you are trying to sing or you are a teacher, you have adapted into a precise style in which you use the inhalator and exhalator more or less according, not more or less, prevalent in, in a prevailing way according to your style. Always remember that our system is an opposed system of forces acting as agonist, antagonist and the transmission that is mechanical when the segment is functional, segment in tendon between two joints, uh, can be bones, can be a vertebral segment. Uh, if it is functional, at a certain point, as we said, uh, the ligaments have afferent properties and they communicate uh, and they dialogue directly with the brain uh, so to co-activate, as it is said in biomechanics, the antagonist that becomes a regulator of the movement. If it is this function, it's completely different and this is the specific of my work and you have to ask me some sessions or become functional before with someone else before this system is well clarified into your functioning. But just to say, you are pretty much functional, meaning not too much dysfunctional, and you sing. In his style of singing, he is well adapted into doing something that see the exhalators as the resistance against which the inhalators charge the energy and the force they are going to use. What it means that? It means that for him, he has an order to sing that is pretty good and pretty wonderful for his style. And in this case, uh, I was doing what? You know what they do now to make uh, runners run faster? They do something quite cool, meaning they change the environment of their body before running. I'm not talking about the technical advancement, yes, of course, they, there are, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that can be as a good mi microphone or a fantastic sound engineer, yeah, if you can have him, always better, okay? Here I'm talking about what we can do with ourselves, with our internal environment. They do, I don't know if that lifts or something, before going to run. How much before? How much weight? How many repeat? How close to? This is very specific and it depends on the individual, on the trainer, on the findings, it's all the time getting better. But what is, is the sensor? 
the senses, uh, they activate uh, some muscles, some fibers, some neurons, motor neurons that are going to fire up and then they're going to run. Does it make a difference? Yeah, clearly yes. Because you, you are going to have some remained and maintained activation while you're running. And that's what we are doing. That's what I'm doing since I, I started with Cosmo Method 15 years ago. Meaning that we change the environment and the result will be different. Are they changing how they run? I hope no. And if they want to change it, they are going to change into other patterns with other practices in the wind gallery, etc. But they are not by making, again, I don't know if it is a deadlift or what, by that, because they are two completely different things. When I asked Blacksmith to start moving them, he was trying to search to add this movement where he has his understanding of singing. Fingers on the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, annoyed. Okay, you can do lower. Uh, no, that's okay, but you feel that you, you block yeah. something into the throat? Yeah. So the thing is, uh, you don't want to make a sound. Meaning that you want it too. And it's not only understandable, he's a fantastic human being, it's a fantastic brain, he's a really brilliant uh, mind and human being. And he wanted to integrate into his singing. But if he does really integrate into his singing, he's changing his style. And it's not falsely what he wants. Because there I am activating some muscles that for his singing he tends to block. So if he wants to use this while singing now, he's going to create a problem into the effectiveness of his singing. This is what Jerome Hines told us in the book. Add things but control that you don't lose what you are able to do. What it means? Do not put that immediately into changing everything about you. Because it's not exactly always what you have to do and many times it's not exactly what you want to add and how you want to add to have the better results. Because again, what we have to understand is that there is the linear thinking, I give an order to sing and this is what my instrument is going to do. Yeah, okay. Then there is the 3D thinking, the 3D realization is that I have my linear, that is pretty correct, pretty good, how can I make it 3D? Not changing the line, adding other dimensions. I add them, I don't change the line with them, otherwise I'm choosing another line. That is something that I can do, but I start from zero again. And sometimes it's not exactly what I want, I want to add to the environment something that will make a difference into the results of my order of singing plus what I did. This is to have an activation that your brain has. Why? If this can contract, it will do that well. somewhere into your brain there is. It is not voice related and perception related because you think I have to put into the you have to put into the action, not into the control. Enough to have an effect on the voice and the effect on the voice you have heard. How we can navigate that practically? Practically, as you've seen for the other exercise with the reverse step up, next week I will help you with the reverse step up. I will give you some versions that you can study. Different strategies to use it with the vocalization on the five notes. Uh, 
I asked him what. Just do it. Don't force the, the voice to do it because again we said we don't want to become good into another style but we want to create a little more of some function into his singing now. And as you've seen, he had an epiphany. I, I, wait. He had an epiphany because simply it is like making a pizza. You make the ingredients, the flour with the water and I prefer that you make it, uh, um, how is it said, naturally sour, meaning that it is going to levitate by itself or if you have uh, some old pizza uh, mixture yet with all this fermentation you maintain and you put just a little into and this is the basis and it is how it does and it's pretty good into this then then we want to put some basilic we want to put a little of olive oil we want to put some tomatoes perhaps some mozzarella a fresh one when we add it is another way of thinking because it is another ingredient we're doing something else we get in confusion if we think that those ingredients has to come into the actual mixture of flour water and uh, it's not yeast, uh, sorry I don't remember how it is in English but you, are, you have understood to make levitating because our brain uh, says uh, oh I need also that uh, into my singing no it's a chopping it is going to change uh, the flavor of the pizza but not the basis of the pizza try the, the motion while no, I... no 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 those you use in vocalization, you don't use to sing. Okay. You don't use to sing, you say you use the styles are the basis of the pizza. Are you doing the pizza? Are you doing the bread? Are you putting some eggs and so you're doing a different recipe but with basically the same basis? And then you're really changing style. Here it is, the topping. For the topping it is okay. You've done. Okay. I took and I put. I cut and I put. I mix the tomatoes uh, and I make cook in the tomatoes and I crush them and take away the seeds better. And then I put in two. Those are different orders that have not to affect the basis of the pizza. Our brain uh, doesn't understand that because he says, okay, I'm moving those muscles when I told him, get your gesture of annoyance. And in me he heard that I, I was, my body was doing by this gesture some sounds. And for him it is, okay, she's making voice production, I make my voice production, I do the same. And it's there that the brain broke. Because all he does change completely voice production, but that then he doesn't have access to his voice production that is a complex system of related functions yet ready and good or he says okay what is a strategy to move those muscles we have many strategies i have you seen i told him of a gesture with an emotional content but it's not it was not exactly an emotional it was a, a gesture thing that mostly gets to the gesture that I want. So we do like that exactly not to change the how can I say voice production order but to find new things. So you just try and then you adapt to the person and you have different strategies for the persons and mostly mostly some strategies work pretty well with everybody. When they don't you find others other other ways to get there. You adapt, of course, uh, 
but then nearly never strategies to voice production because there it is too soon to integrate in the correct measure ratio and uh, without exceeding and without putting at the place of what you have that is another thing completely that again can be done is done but it's not for him for him it was uh, I want to change the environment in which you are singing so that you block those muscles. Okay, we make an exercise in which they start having some life again. They are not going to get all your attention because they don't need all this attention. But the fact that we moved them a bit gave them back the possibility to be activated and since into the phrase and the passage of the song he was singing he needed a bit of this activation I will guide him with the second exercise that again is going to activate something else that is going to reinforce what his voice requires for the specificities in this part of the song in which I know it could need a little help from other parts but he didn't realize and he realized what while singing that two things were happening what he knows and he controls and before something else because what we have to realize also and look at this video She gets confused uh, as him uh, and as many, many, many students and probably as me when I was studying, I don't remember. I don't remember this. But probably yes, in some situations. What do you see? That uh, she wants to make one gesture with also what uh, Dama Montserrat Caballé is asking. What she doesn't realize uh, is that there are two gestures too different. As I said, basilic tomatoes. Basilic tomatoes. Bring up, sing. Bring up, do the note. Bring up, do the note. For this I use an escamotage. It is, again, pretty useful. It's thinking that you, don't, you are not singing a melody, a line. You are a drama. You're doing all the things that drummers do. So it's not one line, one thought. It is uh, into an appropriateness. All you can subdivide or push or find of elements, they are not just all the same, all together like that, that is uh, 1D or oh, want 3D 3D is uh, I do before, then I sing the note I do before, then I sing the note there are two different things uh, and since there are two different things, there are two different gestures she wants to sing by bringing the abdomen as Dan Montserrat asks she can't because she are going to, to clash and she are going to do on the sound. That was the mistake. There are two gestures because one will create conditions for the other to work appropriately. And in singing we do many times, all the times, things like that. And it is what I usually say. 
We sing mostly when we are not emitting sound. We are singing and then we decide when you hear us singing. Meaning that we are doing a lot of things that for our brain has nothing to do with singing that will create all the sound directly as we know in classical music, if you have studied in a certain way, you know that you do absurd things and then the sounds appear. When it is pop, it's more direct and more intuitive, yet you have to add those other things. They stay in the shadow, they stay in the part in which you don't relate directly with the sounding of the voice, but you are doing them. So the thing is, separate and don't try to integrate because when he will sing again and uh, we will ask him to resume uh, and do something together again and tell us uh, what he's doing etc and his impressions uh, he will realize that uh, his epiphany was a feeling that he was uh, distorting on top of the sound production not into the sound production just slightly on top so the distortion was not uh, ha was not happening while impeding the sound the tone production from the vocal fo falls. That's why sometimes when they distort, you can really crush their voice because they think it's the one thing that I'm doing together. Ah, uh, together, no. Tak tak. Voice production meaning tone production and immediate distortion. And he has felt that. And he felt it was different. We stay into a sort of subliminal level of attention that is very precise, very specific, but does, does not get so focused uh, to have just one line and just one possible gesture. Otherwise it will be, I am making the pizza, the basis of the pizza, with the mozzarella, with the basilic, with the oil, and with the tomatoes. Can be a thing, yes, uh, it's a cake in some sort, uh, but it's not under your control if you do that. So the thing is to, to remain for today, when I talk about ingredients of the voice, I'm really talking about the ingredients of the voice. I'm really talking about the fact that there are different systems that we put together we put together doesn't mean we make one system. The result is one system. Looks like one system. But it is. As the ingredients, one after the other. And the preparation of the ingredients can be very different. Again, you prepare the fire. Are you making your basis for the pizza? No, you're preparing the fire. To cook the pizza. Is it still making the pizza? Yes, of course. But it's another action. It has another way of thinking and way of doing it. Is it related? Yeah. Is it important? Yeah, because it comes out better. Some can say, okay, I've got the oven. Okay, you're doing the oven. But still the same. You, are, you, don't, you get confused if you think that making the basis of the pizza is preparing the fire. There you get in trouble or you don't understand uh, when we ask some ki kind of things. Uh. Do you prepare the fire before or after? Depends. Sometimes before, the sometimes after. Depends. There we can discuss on the styles uh, what is better. But still, it is not the same thing. You are not going to make the basis of the pizza into the oven preparing the fire. It could be a mess. Or could be an idea, I don't know, but don't see really really getting uh, to the point <laughs>
it help if I try the, the motion while no, I... No, 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 no. Does you use in vocalization, you don't use to sing. Okay. You don't use to sing, you say... You... I... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Another recap. Have a nice week.